Welcome to Redpath Financial's Money Minute, where you'll discover insider secrets on how to save time, energy, and money when buying, selling, refinancing, renovating, and maintaining your home. This episode is brought to you by your Redpath Financial team, Rod, Ian, Steve, and Tanya, the number one mortgage choice for Toronto home buyers. Now, here's your Money Minute. Okay, today we're going to talk about an unfortunate but common challenge that many homeowners are confronted with. You see, when you and your partner get together and jointly buy a house, it's only natural to assume that everything will be happily ever after. But the sad truth is, many relationships eventually end in separation, and that can have a dramatic impact on your mortgage. Here are some potential scenarios to consider. Selling the property is sometimes the easiest way to put your joint debt behind you. It releases the mortgage obligations and frees up any equity. However, there may be a penalty for selling before the mortgage term ends. If you decide to keep the house, you'll probably have to buy out your partner's share. If this requires refinancing or a second mortgage, keep in mind that you'll have to qualify for financing based on your individual income, which is usually substantially less than the joint income you used the first time. Let's say you decide to let your partner have the house and get yourself off the title. Keep in mind that lenders still consider you jointly responsible for the mortgage payments. So if your partner misses payments, your credit score will suffer too. What you need is a letter of release from your lender. This will make it easier for you to qualify for financing once you set up a home of your own. Child support and alimony payments can impact your ability to qualify for your next mortgage. If you're receiving these payments, they can generally be added to your total income when you apply for financing, as long as you have proof that you've been receiving them reliably over time. If you're paying child support and or alimony, that amount is generally deducted from your total income and limits the size of mortgage you can qualify for. As you can see, this can be a complicated issue. As your local mortgage advisor, we've helped lots of couples get their home financing needs back on track after separation. To help you in this, we've developed a free guide titled Divorce in Your Home, Six Things You Need to Know Before You Sell. It provides you with all the essential information you need to make the right choice for yourself and your family. For more information or to request your free copy of this guide, call us today. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Red Path Financial's Money Minute. If you have any questions or comments, please call your Red Path Financial team today. You can reach Rod at 416-820-2635, Ian at 416-854-7531, Steve at 416-574-5662, and Tanya at 416-307-2090, extension 6003.